there, I'm Jillian with Greenland Garden Centre and today we are on our next tour and we're going to meet some lovely people and enjoy our time with Wayne and Judy Kelly. So Wayne and Judy, thank you so much for having me. I've had a look around, we've had a chat and I'm so looking forward to enjoying your stories and your yard and your garden with everyone who's going to tune into this today. Well, thank you. Yeah, we're, thank you for coming. We're, we're yeah. quite honored that you're here. Thank oh, you yeah. to see our, our place. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's it's really nice to be here. That's so good. let's let's start this tour. Where would you like to begin? Well, this is our r latest project right here. We call it the Magical Garden. Mm -hmm. uh, dug out all the sod this spring, laid the sidewalk blocks, uh, put a lot of soil in it, mm -hmm. and our, our grandson Dylan helped. Uh, with some plants yeah. that he put in and, and that. And we're quite, quite pleased how it's turning out. Yeah. And that we even got some, some has caps. Yeah. Uh, an older Actually, bush. I guess that's what kind of started it with the has cap bush was given to us. Yeah. And our yard has got so much shade. Yeah. Except for out in this area, the back's all shade. Yeah. So it had to go in a shaded area and Wayne started digging up sod. Yeah. <laughs> and it got bigger. <laughs> yes, it actually wasn't supposed to be quite this big, but yeah. just kept adding this way and going that way, and and actually well, turned maybe out it'll get bigger and bigger as oh, more it, grandchildren it just, come in to plant. It just some might. And with half caps, you have to have uh, another couple trees with it to make it pollinate. So yeah. Yeah, so then that was added. So, yeah, so we got three different varieties of has, has caps. Yeah. yeah. Do you yeah. know what those varieties are? It's marked on a thing underneath <laughs> the bush. Like, they are delicious varieties of has caps. That's yeah. true. They make, there you go. And they make excellent That's all wine. You need to know. Oh, they make excellent wine. Oh yes, they do. Ooh. Do you guys make has cap wine? No, no we, don't. we don't. Not We've yet. had some. <laughs> but we're open for anything. Yes. Now we've moved over into quite an extensive tomato patch. So how many tomatoes do you have in here? In this big plot, we have 105 tomatoes planted. Yeah. Uh, in total, we have about 130 tomatoes planted. We've got eight over there, and then when we go further this way, you'll see some more tomatoes. We have about 130 altogether. Yeah, and are there different varieties or? Yeah, the, we have Manitoba and Subarctic. And then the ones over there are the Tiny Tim, and the ones in the garden are Tiny Tim too. Do you have a favorite tomato? I've kind of stuck with the Manitoba for a long time. Yeah. So at uh, anything that will produce. Yeah, this, it's, it's been a struggle this year. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. again, it's that weather. Yeah. Those extreme temperatures. No, that's right. right. Yeah. But it looks yeah. like they're doing okay. Yeah. There's, they've got tomatoes on it, so yeah. we'll see. But yeah. I have to do a little more work on this particular plot after the tomatoes are, are, are taken out and finished. As you can see, there's a few cracks because it's so dry. Yeah. Uh, when we go to the big plot, there's not a crack there because it's, it has all the compost yeah. in it. And so I need to put more compost yeah, in this and build this up a little yeah. bit more. And yeah. if you add yeah. the eggshells from the chicken, yes, you yes. get the calcium in there. That, that's true. And because yeah. I do have noticed the other day, there's a few that have the blossom rod on it. Yeah. And they say that's low in cal your so soil is low in calcium. Yeah. So yeah, for sure. That'll help. Uh, add some more nutrition. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then right behind us is our raspberries. raspberries. Yeah. Raspberry They're just edge. starting to come. Yep. Raspberries are my favorite. Yeah. I have, um, my grandmother, our treat from her garden was the just fresh raspberries, a little bit of sugar and whipping yeah. cream. Yeah. And so yeah. I have her little, those little plastic oh, bowls. Oh, that's and cool. And so I just went to the U pick the other day, yeah. grabbed some raspberries, and I had cream and sugar yeah. in my bowl. Yesterday. Actually, I'm surprised. I thought the raspberries would, because of the lack of moisture, but they're doing not too bad. They're not too bad. You know, yeah, you've got some fruit. They it's, could be bigger, but uh, they're, they're good. So beans, uh, beets, beets, uh, Swiss char, and then potatoes. Yeah. Are these the purple magic potatoes? No, they're over. 
Oh, the magic potatoes are over there. We still can't see them. They'll just magically <laughs> appear. <laughs> and then the zinnias and mixed the zinnias. in with the vegetables. Yeah. yeah. Look at this bright pink. It's beautiful. Isn't it ever? Yeah. That's so lovely. Apparently they're a very old flower. Yeah. They look like like paper. Like they do. Yeah, gorgeous. they do. And yeah. that particular color. Oh, actually, when you look up close, they glow, don't they? Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah. And they're actually supposed to make a very good cut flower. So we'll see. Yeah. They're just uh, actually, these have nice long stems, so that would work out good. Yeah. But, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And the very peas cool. are the back row. Ah, uh, peas. Do you, have you been picking any? Oh yeah. Any yeah. Peas? Yeah. 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 The peas are just about finished. Oh. You can see this soil is a lot better than the other soil, though. And, and this is the one that's been amended. Yeah, it has a lot right. of leaves. A lot of leaves, a lot of. It's so. So good, and it used yeah. to be really hard ground. Yeah. Uh, come fall time, digging the potatoes out, I'd be standing on the shovel to, <laughs> yeah. to get it out. Now it's it's taken a while, but yeah. it's it's there. Yeah. So how many years have you been adding to this one? Well, ever this is the oldest plot. Yeah. So it's taken me quite a few years. Yeah. Well, together. a lot of it's the leaves from the trees, and yes. we planted the trees, so it would be... Yeah, and, and this over here is the compost from, from the leaves. Yeah, and that, and that was no. just strictly the poplar leaves in yep. there. Yep, and, yeah. and added some grass, because you need to have the nitrogen, you yep. know, and the carbon. Yeah. The, the brown is the carbon, and the, the green is the nitrogen, but, but you need that okay. in order for it to, to work and decompose. Yeah. Hi, lovely. Okay, so, woo! <laughs> so, oh! Well, there we go. <laughs> Did you get that? <laughs> All right, so Sorry. we've met Black Teddy. <laughs> oh! Oh, oh, okay. oh, my God, wait. Oh, <laughs> you girls! It's getting real. <laughs> okay, so uh, here we are in the backyard. That we'll have to come back save that for another tour because there's a lot going on here and a lot to explore so many creative ideas um, but let's just talk about this really beautiful naturalized area the, the ferns and the Saskatoons these ferns uh, ferns have been around for over 400 million years yeah uh, and they, their DNA hasn't changed it's they're gorgeous just yeah. gorgeous and growing wild. And what I kind of do in the fall time often, we'll cut a lot of the ferns down and then we'll dry them under the carport and I use it in the chicken coop for bedding. So we recycle it. Yeah. <laughs> and then from there, it yeah. goes into, into the, the compost. And becomes dirt. Yeah, yeah. It goes back so to the soil. So it's kind of a circle, yeah. circle of life, right? Yeah. With, uh, ferns. Yeah. Well, I'm, well, I'm always hungry actually and I'm kind of, to go along with this coffee, I wouldn't mind some of those fluffy pancakes oh, made out of fresh oh, eggs. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Tyler, I'm, you can join us this time. Come, let's go have some fluffy pancakes with the Kellys. Okay. Thank you too so much for the tour. It's nice to get caught up with you again, oh, and yeah. it just this place revitalizes the soul. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Tyler. And thank you very much for coming here and thanking Greenland oh. Nursery for giving us this opportunity to show our, our gardens yeah. and what we have. And just thank share you. it. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you so much.